Hey friends, this is Rick Renner. Hi Dad. And Paul Renner. And today we're in the airport on our way to a city where we're gonna meet with some pastors just to kind of go over some things in their life and their church. But I was thinking about Ephesians 5 verse 17 where Paul says, be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. You know, when you think about people getting drunk, when people get drunk, what happens to them? Their behavior changes. Oh yeah. Their behavior is changed. Definitely. When they're drunk. I had this friend the other day, uh, I met him and he, well, he was a little drunk. And he started talking and talking and talking. He never talks. That's what happens when people get inebriated, their character changes. Yep. And Paul says, don't get drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Implying that when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, there is an effect that's similar to alcohol. And it's true. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, your attitude changes. You have joy things that should make you sad instead of feeling depressed, you feel victory in your heart, your character changes when you're filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's why the following verse says, speaking to yourselves. In fact, the Greek says speaking, speak kind of like your friend. Mm -hmm. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing, making melody in your heart to the Lord. You know, if you're going through a really hard time right now, so many times we're tempted to say, I'm going to take heed to everybody around me. I'm going to fix everybody around me so my life will be better. But you know what? It's not possible to fix everybody all the time. That just makes you miserable. So the wisest thing to do is to be filled with the Spirit. So it doesn't matter who's around you or where you are. Amen. The Holy Spirit changes your attitude Amen. and fills you with joy, changes your character. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is really the answer to most of our struggles. So, today maybe you need a new dose of the Holy Ghost. Why don't you just stop and ask the Lord to refill you? Amen. Think about that today.